you don't have anything, but they are wishing you. Yes, yes. Uh? yes Pastor. They are wishing you. Yes. There are people who are wishing you. Yes. And this thing is coming from home. Yes. Huh? Yes, yes, Pastor. You are tired, and you know. Yes. You know people are wishing you. Yes. How can you escape from this without Jesus? Yes, Lord. Huh? Yes, Pastor. They are wishing you. Yeah, the people are hating you for nothing. Yes. Here, yeah, nothing is working. Yes. It's witchcraft from home, and you know. Huh? Let's hear this man. Huh? Yes, it's true, Pastor. So you know people are doing this thing. Yes. God will fight for you. Amen. You understand? Yes. Sometimes you feel somehow. Yes. You feel something here. True. In your stomach, you're moving here. Yes, Pastor. Huh? Yes. You see, what is this? You hear that? Yes. And when you sleep here, you feel something is coming up. True. Up here, from the stomach. This thing come up here. It's like want to close here. You wake up in time. No, true, so, true, eh? Pastor, true. So quick. Yeah, sometimes. Look here, look here. Look, look, come on. Team on. Come on. I destroyed this snake. Come on. Ah. You smell? Ah. Eh? Ah. No. Eh? We took this boy away from this church. Oh, you took him from the church? We, we took him. He started here a long time ago with you. He started here a long time ago. Yes, 2010. 2010? Yes, you prayed for oh him. God. You told him that you're going to be a leader. Uh -huh. He's been a manager throughout. He has been a manager? Throughout, even now. Now he's the manager. Ah, you know how many sides this boy carry? Do you know how many sides? Uh -huh. Do you know how many sides? Tell me. Get down. It's going to happen. Free state. Turn everywhere. It's this boy. Because ah, of you. Here, we pray for her. Yes. He, he become, yes. He, he become rich. Yeah. You took he, him away. How did you take him away? Ah, huh? He was in the church. Uh -huh. We bring ladies around. Oh, you bring ladies? We bring ladies around. He was in the church. You know where he stays now? Uh. In an estate. In the estate? He bought a house in Centurion. Ah. He was supposed to be here testifying. But you know what he's driving now? He's driving a BMW. It's because of you. He's the only child in that family. Ah. He's the only child in that family. Are you here? Oh, that we lifted him. We lifted him. You keep on fighting us. You keep on fighting us from his father's house. He's the only one to graduate, to matriculate, to graduate. Ah. He's working ah. big companies. They fly him all over. Are you here because of you. Are you you know how many years we took him out of this church? Uh -huh. Many years. You took him many years? Many years we took him away. Because we know that when he's around you, this boy is going to fall. He dreams you all about. All the time. Oh, oh Lord. So how did, how did he come here? Why did you stop him? You know what? Uh -huh. He was working today. He was working from home. Uh -huh. The wife called. She said she doesn't have money for lunch. Then the wife said, send me money so I can buy lunch. I'm going to church. He was sleeping, not waking. And then... Someone told him that he must come to church today. The wife drove her all out all the way to go and fetch him and bring him to church today. Where, where is the wife? <sighs> oh. Wow, my God. Uh, you know what? Oh, you see my God. You see this so boy? what you are hearing here is true. Very you true. So he was here in 2010? Yes, yes we started coming to church in 2010. And then um, 20, uh, 19, and then that's where we were no longer coming to Cherries. And then this year, we decided like, no, we need to come back here. So since January, we've been coming here. Mm. And this year, you're seeing it for the first time? Yes. See him like this? Yes. So, I saw something moving in the stomach there. What is that? What is that you put in the stomach? No, we want to destroy him. He's not 
to destroy. He's still young to carry this, all these all sites. Right, let me break it. We want to destroy him. I break that thing. Uh, I want to see what no. you do. No. I break it now. Uh, uh, I want to see this power you are living now. Now you're a nice demon, eh? How are you? What are you doing? What were you doing to him? You know what? You always fight for us. Oh, you, 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 you always know. fight for us. You know what you did for this boy? On his family, no one, no one, no one, no chance. You know why I stop here? I stop because... We pray for people, né? they hear stories. You didn't leave the church because you wanted your people. If, what, uh, uh, to be honest with you, even myself, like, I don't know what happened because we grow in this church and we love this church, but I don't know what happened. A person from nothing. Grow up to behave, stay in his state. Exactly. And then everything starts to happen. This demon must leave him now, in Jesus' uh, name. Have you ever seen a boy from nowhere flying to Devon in the morning for work? And then in the evening comes back to his wife and his son. We don't want that. He's sitting in the airport. And when I look at this lady, I, I remember this lady. He's sitting at the airport. Uh, you, all, all my sons and my daughters oh. come back. You people Amen. here, you are, they must come back. Amen. You cannot be deceived by spirits when you know what happened. In Jesus' name, you are delivered. Leave him, leave him. Look, look what is happening to you, look. Brother, what is happening? I don't know, Pastor. I remember you were praying for me. I was on the queue. Allow him to sit down. This man is feeling weak. What happened? I don't know, Pastor. I just saw you praying for me. The last thing I remember you, you spoke about witchcraft. That's what I can recall. What is it that made you to leave the church when you know you came here being zero? Hey, to be honest, Pastor. I don't know, I was supposed to be the last person who was not even supposed to go out of this door from where I come from. You took me, or this God of this place, took me from nothing. We are hearing how you are working, you fly to Debe, you fly to Debe. What is happening with your work? Tell us. Pastor, I told my wife last that I remember when we were still in that, in Tembisa, there was a boy next to me that you were praying. You have never prophesied to me. You were just praying and pass. But that day, you spoke to that boy. And then you said, or oh, that guy, you said, if I recall well. And then you said, God is lifting you. You will never struggle with work. That day, my heart was so painful because you passed me. I kept on all those years believing on those words that you were telling that boy. If I can tell the truth, I've never struggled with work. I moved from one company to another. Big companies, managerial positions. In fact, you took the prophecy of this boy to yourself. <laughs> You're a thief. <laughs> yeah. And now it works for you. After it works for you, disappear. I thank God that today you are restored. Yes, Pastor. I'm, I'm just having questions with many people that we pray for. When they know there was zero, from there they disappear. You, you are moving from company to company, you are, you are successful. Uh, and now, already here in your stomach, there was something that moves here. Yes. And they were pain. putting this thing to stop you. You were yes. feeling pains. Feeling pains, yes, sir. Yes, yes. yes. I'm sure it's the pain that brought you back. Uh, I'm very happy for you. Amen. But this thing could kill you. God bless you. Thank you. Jesus. Shalom. Jesus. Uh, my name in is Opa Malaji. I, I currently reside in Centurion. Um, previously, I used to fellowship in this church. 
and then it gets to the point where I stop coming to the church. Today I decided to come to the church, um, so I just want to confirm what the pastor has mentioned about my life with regard to the pains that I'm feeling in my stomach and also uh, what he just prophesied with regard to a witchcraft. I felt it, I sensed it, I had different dreams and also the difficulties in my stomach. That's true, I want to confirm the prophecy be true and I believe I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Um, my name is Tlungwano Budom. Yes, what the pastor said about my husband, it's very true. Uh, we've been attending Charis Missionary Church since 2010. And then I believe we left the church around 2019. And then this year we decided to come back to church. And also about what the pastor said about uh, the struggle or the difficulties of my husband is true. He's been uh, not well ever since, but I really thank God that today he's delivered, we are delivered. We thank God and we believe that everything now will be well. On my side, what I can say is that uh, we need to come back to Charis. We know Charis is the house of grace. That's all I can say. Thank you. Yeah, on my, my side, what I can say, uh, the word of encouragement to the viewers and everyone in the world, I'll say the God of this place is alive. I've witnessed the God of this place before. And then uh, even now I believe that for me to return back to this place again, I was led by the spirit of this place. And I believe that those who are not yet a witness the God of this place. I encourage them to come and witness this God is alive and the spirit of this place is moving and God is still speaking even today.